water, sandy beaches, and temperatures in the 80s. Now that's a happy new year if you ask me. Hi, I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. Today on At Your Leisure, Rhea and I are in Mexico discovering not only the beauty, but also the adventure that can be found in this tropical paradise. But if you want snow, don't worry, because Steve Human is taking you to the heights to find some spectacular powder close to home. Finally, what is Ice Cross? Terry Wood will have your answer. You know what, Rhea? I got to tell you the truth. All these years, all these years, I thought Cozumel was some kind of dessert. However, I realized while it's not a dessert, it's still a real treat. Hello, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure Today. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And Chad and I are in Cozumel, Mexico at Punta Sur, which is just the most beautiful part of the island on the southern tip, right? That's Towards right. the southern Punta, part. Punta Sur stands for Punta. South Tip. It's part of a, a getaway we're going to show you today on our program is all the things there are to do in Cozumel, whether you come here by cruise ship or whether you fly here, a lot of things to do. And I'm telling you, we are experiencing life like the Mexicans do every day, and it's beautiful. Cozumel, it's a 100% touristic place. Our economy, it's 100% tourism. So here in Cozumel, guys, you can do a lot of activities. And here we are with Edward, right? Yes. Edward, what a fine name. Eduardo. Eduardo, Eduardo. Eduardo. Yes. yes. But you go by Eddie. Eddie, yes, my <laughs> friends call me Eddie. That's great. Yes. Now we're standing in front of a really cool Mayan ruin, obviously. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about this ruin? Well, this one is uh, El Caracol. The caracol means the conch shell, okay? And this was used for two different purposes. Number one is for navigation. All the navigators, Mayas, they arrive from mainland, Mexico mainland, all the way to Cozumel Island. They have to cross the channel by canoes. And they have to have uh, this, uh, let's say, point of reference or little Mayan lighthouses. During the hurricane season, which is six months of the year. Can you see those holes? When the wind blow, the wind from the hurricane blow those shells, guess what? Make a noise, oh. make a horn noise. And that was like an alarm uh, system for the Mayan people living in this area. So smart. Yes. buggy riding over on the beach and I think this is about as close as I'm going to get to it. It has just been a blast. Well, this one's a hot ride compared to the other one. Eddie, if somebody comes down to Punta Sur, yes. what else can we see down here? It's like an ecological reserve. It's mm -hmm. actually 900 acres of mm -hmm. natural reserve and there is different ecosystems here like sand dunes, tropical forest, lagoons. What about if I show you the uh, saltwater American crocodiles, not alligators. You've got it all. So we have and it dune all. buggies. And dune buggies. And guess <laughs> what? And we have a, a nice people. First, we're going to take a look at our travel adventure. Thanks, Chad and Rhea. I'm Stephen Human, and I'm about as far from Cosmo, Mexico as is humanly possible. I'm out here in the powder just outside of Camas, Utah, and I'm going to show you why this is exactly where you want to be. Camas, Utah isn't known for many things. About 40 minutes east of Salt Lake City on Highway 189 and State Road 248, Camas is quaint and homey. But even when it's light on snow, it is the gateway to some of the best snowmobiling in the West. 
Paul Weller, co-owner of Weller Recreation, right as you enter town, knows a thing or two about this area and its potential for adventure. I've lived here my whole life. Uh, to begin with, it was a farming community with over 50 dairy farms. Um, and now there's one dairy farm left and it has gradually changed to more of a bedroom community for the cities. And as a result, it's turned into more of a recreational area. It is the gateway to the Uintas, which means this is where people drive through to go recreate in the mountains. My associates that have dealerships in other states travel anywhere from two to six hours to start their snowmobiling. For us, it's 10 to 15 minutes and we're at multiple trailheads. And that links with Bear River Service, Strawberry, and Mirror Lake. And so it's endless the directions you can go. This morning we headed out just north of Camas by the old Weller Rec building and hit trails right off the road. Immediately the snow got deep and fluffy and after just 10 minutes of trail riding, we found ourselves in a world of pristine powder just begging to be explored. And so we did. Now the day started out pretty clear with the sun shining through high clouds. But one of the great things about a day of snowmobiling is that conditions can change pretty quickly. And literally within about 10 minutes, the flurry started up and new snow was dumping heavily on our tracks. As the day has progressed, more snow has fallen and you really couldn't ask for a better time on the mountain than what we are enjoying right now. The higher you come in elevation, the more snow we have. Uh, in the valleys we've had rain, but in the high elevation we've had snow. There's still great powder. Snowmobiling is my passion. It's the only sport that I can do that I can feel freedom to go where I want and accept a challenge to find and climb that peak or explore new terrain. If you want to come out to this area, there are plenty of restaurants and services in Camas where you can stock up. And of course, you can get condition reports and directions directly from Weller Recreation since they're out in the snow every week. A lot of people have lamented the late start to winter this year. But now that the snow has fallen, there's no excuse to avoid taking that plunge into the white. 2015 has begun and so has the snowmobile season. Whether you're an expert or looking to climb on a sled for the first time, there's something out here to discover. Don't be intimidated and don't be afraid to ask questions. There's a whole world out there to discover and it's a lot more friendly than you might think. Snowmobiling has the reputation of just climbing steep hills. That's a small portion of snowmobiling. The major portion of snowmobiling is boondocking, looking at terrain and country, which means going through valleys and bowls. The only time you have to climb hills are is when you want to get to the next valley to explore. So if you haven't ever snowmobiled, I'd like to invite you to come out and try a winter sport that will hook you for life. Oh. Today has been Awesome. A lot of people have been complaining that it's been a late winter. Well, you'd never know it from up here. Well, coming to some of these areas is super easy because all you have to do is get into Camas and stop at Weller Recreation and they'll point you in the right direction. You've got Wolf Creek Pass, you've got Smith Moore House, you've got Mirror Lake. The UN is everything that you want is here. Well, we need to take a commercial break. When we come back, Darren Kinder is riding the slingshot. He's going to show you how cool this machine actually is.
When you made it through your busy week It's time to rest and unwind There's one thing that we can all agree A getaway works every time You're headed to the country Enjoy the comforts of your city living At Ray City RV you go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? Find the beauty, serenity, family fun, or anything else that's missing from your life in the Cedar City Bryan Head area. Gain access to your adventure, whether it's camping, hiking, the arts, festivals, or just a getaway. Visit cedarcityayl.com for details on all the adventures that you can access in scenic Southern Utah. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. Today, we're product reviewing the Slingshot by Polaris. Now, a few weeks back, you remember, we kind of did a walk around, but we weren't able to drive it. But now we're up near Pine View Reservoir in Utah, just outside of Ogden, and got to really put this on some canyon roads and have a great time. And today, it's really, it's only about a 45 degree day, and it was really nice because normally on a bike, that's kind of cold. But out here, you know, I just got jeans on my jacket, and there was enough heat just coming off the motor that it was really comfortable to get out and ride. Slingshot is a new vehicle made by Polaris. State-of-the-art, three-wheeled machine. That's right, it's only three wheels. So this is classified as a motorcycle, not a car. It has a belt drive system on it and a single shock back here and I tell you, when you turn off the traction control, this thing goes just crazy. But when you have that traction control on it, man, you can really push it hard and it stays really well linked up. It catches everyone's eye. We have people follow us. It, it's a lot of fun. I mean, you know that they've never seen a vehicle like this before. You have these very nice seats and when you first look at them I was kind of like eh. After driving it around all day I found that they are very comfortable. They're also waterproof so if it does rain on them it's not going to soak into the fabric and then get your pants wet later. You dry it off real quick and away you go. Now you can the seats recline there's several different positions on them and what's also really cool are these large storage boxes behind the seats and these are big enough to put in a fairly good sized duffel bag, a sleeping bag, so you can really take a lot of gear with this, much more than you'd find on a typical motorcycle. Now your stereo can Bluetooth to your, your cell phone or anything else. It also has a USB plug in the glove box. You can see it's got a nice little gate shifter here. It's got a short throw to it, so it's very easy to use. It's very simple to go through the gears. You have your traction control button, so you can turn that off if you want. Now the start button took me a little bit to get used to. It's very simple. You just turn the key on, press your start button, and away you go. It's quick acceleration. The handling characteristics are, are phenomenal. You sit low to the ground and you have an open air feel. It just feels great. It's very easy to drive and it gives you a thrill. Now, if you'd like to check out one of these slingshots, get into Triple S Polaris in West Haven, just outside of Ogden, and they'll be glad to show you one. They promised me they'd keep one in stock. That's if I bring this one back. I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time. Our slogan is Service of the Power 3, and a lot of people ask me, what the heck is Service of the Power 3? Well, we look at ourselves as servers. We're here to serve you, to serve the customers that come in the door. We have all gold certified mechanics that are the highest level you can be in. The employees that work here, everybody's an enthusiast. If somebody comes in and asks about a particular product, we can tell them a personal experience on that, other than just telling them a spec sheet out of the book. I hope to earn everybody that comes in here's business. We're here to serve you, not sell you. Beautiful scene, isn't it? 
the great wide spaces of the wild, wild west. Hi, I'm Chad Booth, host of At Your Leisure. I'm asking you to support the Blue Ribbon Coalition. Their efforts responsibly preserve access to our public lands. If it were not for the Blue Ribbon Coalition and their efforts, you may not have access to millions of acres of land across the West. This is America's playground, and if we don't do anything, we are going to lose it. Join, participate, and donate. You climb. We invent. You carve. We refine. You side hill steeper mountains. We develop more responsive technology. You never stop. We never stop. The 2015 Ski Do Summit. Hi, my name is Spencer Cox. I'm the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Utah, and I'm the new spokesperson for Ride On. Ride On is a unique partnership between all the land managing agencies in the state of Utah to maintain trails, to advocate safety, to advocate wise stewardship amongst all of us who use these trails. And I'm doing it because trails matter to me. This is important for my children. I want them to be safe and I want them to be stewards of the trail. If you would like more information, go to ohv.utah.gov. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Well, you can see how you can be allured by this beautiful, crystal clear azure water. Isn't that the right word, A-Z-U-R-E? I think, well, it That color? Stand, yeah, something That was like my that. favorite color in the crayon. Azure, it was. It was my favorite color, yeah, it's fabulous. Well, we've stopped at the beach over here. There are a lot of things to do when you come to Cozumel. Obviously, we've given you a sample of them, but there are way more that you can possibly do in 24 hours, which means you may want to call Columbus Travel and book a separate trip here after your cruise and just hang out here for a week. So far, it's just been really friendly and a lot of fun and really, really, really clean and top notch. Oh, seriously. But you know what? We need to stop talking and go snorkeling. All right, let's go swimming. All right. Scuba diving is one of the top places in the world, in the world, uh, for scuba diving. We have a great barrier of coral for snorkeling. How'd you like that was it? great. It was beautiful. And I'm a travel Most agent, so I highly recommend this <laughs> to other people. <laughs> Very good. You can find us in, in online, internet at www.exploracaribe.com. Everywhere we go and at your leisure, we have fun. <laughs> Just, we're going to have some more fun because we're going to go take a look at our trailhead okay. adventure. Jumps, turns, and the occasional obstacle or two. This is the world of motocross, a great summertime activity. But you know, it doesn't tend to do well in the snow. Winter kind of shuts the whole thing down. So what would be the cold weather equivalent of motocross? You'd have to replace the dirt with ice and the bike with skates. And what you would have would look a lot like this. The fact that they're doing it on ice skates and it's like hockey meets border cross meets roller derby and the temperature here is freezing so that ice is firm. It's going to be sick. Ice cross downhill is an extreme winter sport that pits racers against each other side by side and escape to the finish line that is like nothing else on ice. The track itself is walled on either side and only between 10 and 15 feet wide at any given point. This keeps competitors close together and it forces them to jockey for position at each turn and over every obstacle. Jumps and vertical drops litter the course, causing skaters to tumble, fall, and pick themselves up as quickly as possible. And it's all done in front of crowds that sometimes number more than 100,000 people. I'm hurting, my back hurts, my legs are sore. I mean, I fell a little bit earlier and it was just an incredible experience. Everybody cheering for you I and mean, it's just ecstasy out there. I don't know if, if, if the count is right, I just heard it before, it's like 120,000 spectators and like in kind of this big of atmosphere, it's just perfect, you know, I'm so happy. 
Like similar high-performance sports, these athletes train all year to compete in a variety of events held in Europe, Canada, and the United States. Athletes from a variety of different backgrounds like hockey, downhill skiing, even mountain biking. They all strap on their skates and they hit the ice for a chance at the championship. Their equipment is similar to what a hockey player wears, pads, helmet, and the like. But their skates are actually specially made just for ice cross with butterfly blades that help stabilize racers through the tight turns. First time competitors get the chance to test the sport at Riders Cup events in Quebec, Canada and Hastings, Minnesota, where temporary tracks have been created for events. The Crashed Ice Championship brings top racers together at permanent courses in Serena Resort in Finland and at St. Paul, Minnesota. Racers here reach speeds of almost 40 miles per hour while knocking each other around. The number of events has been doubled in 2015 to open up the sport to new athletes who want to give ice cross a try. Now, it isn't easy getting through the race unscathed, let alone to stand on the podium as one of the champions. In the semifinals, every rider is just incredible. So, I mean, you're skating with the best guys and it's just something to be proud of. There was tons of upsets tonight. Uh, lots of the top guys uh, fell out early and um, it looks like the young guns are on the podium today. To be leader of the of the world championship right now after two races is, is just stunning for me. Events for the 2015 season begin January 17th in Minnesota and they'll continue through the winter until crashed ice scrapes the losers from the frozen course and finally crowns a champion at the showdown in Edmonton. As the sport grows in popularity, the tracks are likely to become even more difficult and the events more common. The way Ice Cross is going, there's going to be more and more of these races on permanent tracks, and I think we need to learn how to skate on the rough ice, and we did that this week. So motocross is a great spring, summer, and fall activity. Ice Cross, now this is a sport that will get you through the winter. From the frozen trailhead, I'm Terry Wood. Our trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles, and they'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the RockyMountainATVMC.com website, and you can take a look at it there. It doesn't matter what kind of adventure you're searching for, at Utah State Parks, you'll find it. Witness some of the most spectacular scenery in the West at Dead Horse Point, this week's featured Utah State Park. Amenities include venues for weddings, camping, and historic exhibits with modern restroom facilities and RV hookups. Brand new yurts give overnight visitors the chance to enjoy this immense landscape in an entirely new way with comforts cowboys never imagined. They include full electricity, an outdoor grill for cooking, and a view that is unmatched in the world. Dead Horse Point State Park is located just west of Moab on State Highway 313. To get more information, go to stateparks.utah.gov. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. A powder day in the trees. A morning of crisp air and blue skies. A winter destination in your own backyard. Twillin County is all of them in one. It's time to experience a new adventure you never knew you were missing. It's time to find out what's just over the mountain. Tooele County, Utah. The Wasatch Front is your home. Tooele is your backyard. Chad, don't you think this is like a beach in buffet? <laughs> <laughs> in more ways than one, Rhea. In more ways than one. Welcome back to at your leisure, we are on the, well, we're still, a, this is still a Caribbean behind us, but we're pointing out towards the Atlantic here on the other side of Cozumel, this beautiful set of bungalows on the beach where we've stopped for a buffet from our day of exploration and uh, have some authentic food. I've never had pink rice before. And it looks really yummy. It is actually, it's pretty tasty. I already had a bite. Did you? Yes. Let's talk about the calendar events. All right. Well, we've got a lot on them, so let's find out about it. On January 24th, Utah State Parks and the Utah Snowmobile Association and At Your Leisure are putting on Take a Friend Snowmobiling. 
This is a free event where everyone is invited to come out and give snowmobiling a try. This ride will be held at the Monte Cristo Trailhead east of Ogden, Utah on Highway 39. If you've never been on a snowmobile before, if you're nervous or you just want to try something new, this is the event for you. Every year we have a blast. There will be food, hot cocoa, and fun for the whole family. Also, for those of you who are looking for something to do on the 24th and you don't want the white stuff, boy, have I got something for you. You want the red stuff. That's right. It is the Southern Utah Winter Jeep Rally down in St. George, Utah. It'll be at the fairgrounds down there. You can sign up and have a great winter excursion. In fact, you can see what it's all about next week on the show. You know, last summer we gave away a trip on the MSC Davina, and that's where we got the idea for this excursion to come down to Cozumel and just tour the island because there was so much to do in a day, so you, you can't just book it in a day, as right. I mentioned a little bit earlier. So if you do want to, though, cruise the Caribbean, they'll have all of this on their agenda for you, and, and they are so great about booking all, I mean, they have so many different tours and they can custom fit stuff. and. You know, when you book through the ship, there's just a comfort knowing that they pick the best vendors and they'll get you back. Absolutely. These guys are great. They really took care of us and they speak the language and it's just been really, really relaxing. Yes, except for the part where you were driving. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we want to find out about this week's contest winner. His name is Gabe Aragon. And he went out to Pony Express and he picked that little ornament with that AYL sticker on it and he got that to us ASAP and he won a big gas grill from Camp Chef. Way to go! I love those big gas grills. Lucky Gabe, lucky you. But you still got one thing to do. You gotta call us. Well, always prizes to win on At Your Leisure. Now let's go to next week's show. The big trip starts next week as Chad and Rhea hit the road by RV to experience the West Coast like never before. Follow our hosts as they show off destinations and activities that will make you want to plan a vacation just like this one. Over the next month, you'll see some amazing things and we'll supply full itineraries for you and your family. Looks like a great show, Chad. It does indeed. Now, this has been a great show this week as well. And if you would like to find out a little bit more about Cozumel, well, there are several ways to do it. The first option you have is Google, Google Cozumel. Cozumel, and you can find out all kinds of things about the different activities there are to do down here. Or you can go to Cozumel Carib. That's a fantastic touring agency there, and they can really take you around. Those are the people who took us around yeah. today. Your third option is if you want things to handle be handled for you, is just go to Columbus Travel, contact columbusvacations.com. They know this area very well, and they can book every detail of your trip down here. Yeah, it's just been fantastic. And finally, if you really would like to take a cruise, I recommend MSC Cruise Lines, where we just gave away a vacation a little while ago. <laughs> and they can make sure that you get a good day here, too, along with a whole bunch of other stuff in the Caribbean. An entire week, actually. Indeed. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have this week for At Your Leisure. Thank you for joining us. We'll look for you next week. Between now and then, though, make sure that you get out with your family, your friends, the outdoors, at, at your, your leisure. leisure. Let's go for a swim. All right. <laughs> Like Not there, okay. in the pool. <laughs> Why are you still on the edge? There. Because I'm scared of your driving? I'm not going to kill you. All right, oh, that's good. That's perfect. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.